Our Aiden Ganim has more. The Edmonton Oil Kings hosted the Canadian Hockey League's first place Winnipeg Ice at Rogers Place earlier this week. This was no ordinary game though, as over 10,000 students, teachers and parents attended the 11 a.m. event, all part of the Oil Kings hockey hooky game, which gives kids a unique opportunity to learn more than what's just taught in a classroom. Although the start time was made to accommodate the kids, Oil Kings diehard fans seem more than happy to share the venue. I, I like it. I was a teacher for 30 years, so it's kind of cool. And I actually, at my school, started bringing the kids to hockey hooky, so it's kind of neat. And last year it was a little sad because of schools still weren't allowing because of COVID, right? So it's kind of nice to see the building filled again. Uh, you know. The game wasn't only about hockey, though, as the Oil Kings had special guests during the first and second intermission, teaching students about the peregrine falcon and other natural wildlife. However, it did feel like one big party at some points, and some children were just excited to be there. Oh, I'm, a, I'm assuming Winnipeg is going to win. Yeah? I, I, yeah, I go for Winnipeg too. I mean, it's already 2-0. Yeah. I don't know. No? I'm going to cheer for the Oil Kings, so let's hope them. It was a special night for the players as well, as it had them reminiscing of past days as young fans, enjoying the game that they love. Oh uh, yeah, a little bit. I kind of thought of uh, an 11 a.m. game, kind of thinking back to tournament hockey when I was younger, so it was fun. Well, that'll do it for this matchup. Final score, Ice 10, Oil Kings 1. Obviously a bit of an underperformance from the Oil Kings. That's to be expected from a rebuilding team. The Ice first in the WHL and CHL, so they were coming ready to play. But I think the most important thing here was for the fans and for all of the elementary school students and middle school students, this is an experience that they're not going to forget anytime soon. For Newswatch Sports, I'm Aiden Ganim.